This is Today in Nashville, a celebration of the people, places, and things that make Music City a great place to live. Now your hosts, Kelly Sutton and Carol Sullivan. Welcome to the show, everybody. It's Thursday, and that means we're one step closer to the weekend. I'm fired up about it. We're ready. We've got a great show for you today. I'm really pumped about this. Oh, girl, Bradley Cooper. What? His movie, A Star is Born, it hits theaters nationwide tomorrow. We got to watch the movie earlier this month, and I met up with Bradley when he was in Franklin. Kind of sounds like it was a date. It wasn't. I actually just got to talk to him. So, got to talk about his transformation into a rock star. Whether or not we will ever see him on stage in Nashville anytime soon. Mm. All of that coming up. Down on Broadway. <sighs> might, might just be walking. You know he what? Might. He took guitar and piano lessons for a year and a half. Just for this movie? Just for this movie. Wow. Dedication. Oh, that's like, cool. So much. So many cool things. Well, Stay tuned. And I looked great. in his eyes and there was just, yes. <laughs> It was Bradley. What are you going to do? So ridiculous. Sorry. I love that he was in Franklin. He was like near Cool Springs, too, he right? Was, yeah. So everybody, you know, Bed Bath Beyond had no idea that like Not Bradley a Cooper clue. was he just was right there. Right there. How crazy is yeah. that? I love it so much. <laughs> All right. We're going to have a good time today. This band, Rivershine. Uh, Hi, we friends. get to watch them on our Plaza Mariachi stage. We've been having a good old time here pre-show. So we're glad that they are here. They've got a new single out, so we'll hear it. All about it. We've got fashion covered today because our girl, Brooke Webb from KB Styled, is going to show us how to take the trends from the runway and make them into everyday outfits. Because, you know, you watch the runway shows, you see the... I don't even consider them. Paris Fashion Week, and they're just like, they're wrapped up, and they have scarves (laughs) everywhere, and you're like, that, I can't, whatever. But she's got real trends that we can wear. You know what was funny? I saw, I saw just a, you know, you see things on your feet, but one was like the Pinterest fall look and it was you know just the perfect it was like my fall look sweats and a sweatshirt right right because you know that's how we're both rolling when we're out of I got my pizza this. dress on today you too yes I do I got plenty of room good Woo! thing because I got plenty of dough here in our Check it out. Kitchen. guys California Pizza Kitchen opening up a new location it opens next week at Cool Springs Galleria right there towards the middle of the mall and so we're gonna get schooled in how to work the dough and talk about their menu and I'm pumped if I can toss dough like that it just one time that it's going to be, be such a win huge goal thursday would be phenomenal if i could do that okay if you haven't figured out what to make for dinner tonight get set maybe you should have tacos right i didn't know this national taco day but on a thursday I okay i'm on tuesday. it yeah taco because we already have Taco Tuesday. Now we need a Taco Thursday. Okay. Double the taco I'll fun. I'll take it. Places around town offering big deals to enjoy your taco. National Taco Day has a gift set at Taco Bell. <laughs> so there you go. You It actually comes in a box. You four tacos? Four five tacos bucks? for $5. So I'm watching what these people are putting I in I can totally taco. do that. If you join Moe's reward program, welcome to Moe's, then you get a free taco when you buy two. And get this. Cold Stone Creamery has a special waffle taco all day that they made up to celebrate the holiday. All right, very good. So, so does that have ice cream in it? Like, yes, guess, yes, yes, yes. Like, like a choco yeah. taco. Have you ever okay. done, yeah. Yeah, yeah. remember yeah. tacos? Like Those are that. so great. I love those. <laughs> the Tennessee State Museum's grand reopening. I really call it the grand opening because, okay. I mean, the museum's been around, but this space is incredible. Whoa. Look at this place. I mean, Whoa. it's huge. Right next to the farmer's market. The doors open at 1.30 and it cost $160 million. Holy cow. You can see thousands of artifacts from the old museum and some new exhibits as well. Listen, school field trips just got real fun. Yeah, they Because did. that museum's going to be incredible. So it's at the corner of Rosa Parks and Jefferson. I'm really amazed by this. I mean, I felt like they just started this Either right. Had, I thought it was condos going up. I didn't realize that you, was what was being built I there. I tell you, I was shocked. Because right? all the condos going up in that area of Germantown, Boom. I thought, and when I saw a museum, I was like, oh, it's that's so good. so great. Yeah. I know. So very, very cool. Um, opens at 1-3 today. Of course, open all weekend long. Be a really fun it's place nice. to take everybody. Love yeah. it. Garth fans, guess what? The singer is releasing more music. All right. So remember he released the first of his five-part anthology? the book and music series. Yeah. So we only got a yeah. taste. We got part one. We got part one last year. So he's putting out part three. 
Wait. Where's part two? I had a lot of questions. Know. I know this is by design because nothing is I'm ever sure, just, No, you know, nothing happens by chance there's no by in chance. Garth's world, and absolutely. No one forgot to count. So part three covers his life as a live performer. So it's okay. all live, live performances, music. right? Okay. It has a great companion to the upcoming live album, which is called Triple Live. Not part of the anthology. Not part all of right, the anthology. If you're following along, right. part of the anthology will go with another album that is not part of the anthology. Agreed. So here's what I think is happening. Um, I think first part of the anthology came out. I think third part is part of those songs, but live. So I think second part is going to be a whole different game of songs right mm -hmm. there, a whole different mm -hmm. playlist. And then fourth part will be those live. Gotcha. All I know is if you have one oh, and three. Oh, something's got to come out by Christmas. Oh, no, this is going to come this out This is going to come Christmas. out November 20th. I gotcha. So he's brilliant. There you go. All right. <laughs> it's time to shop for candy. Yes, and the it Nashville is. Zoo put this out. I was really flabbergasted. They're asking that you choose. Flabbergasted. I love that word. Animal friendly candy. Well, I was, who knew? Who knew? But who this knew? is a thing, and I think it's really cool. So some candy manufacturers rely heavily on palm oil. Okay. And that really threatens the habitat, and it it really kills off wildlife because they got to kill the habitat they're harvesting, to get, they're harvesting the, the palm, palm oil. Okay. It's not okay. sustainable. There it is. So palm oil threatens so many animals. So look, they put out this list. So they say, look. Pick these candies. Okay. Hershey's, Mars. Yes. Super happy about that. Yeah. Wrigley. I don't know that other one. Mandela's. I don't know. Justin's. Either. I do I know. I do know Justin's. They All right. But on All the time. naughty list. Okay. There is it Wonka, is. Wonka, Nestle, Ooh. and I just know the gummy Haribo. bear. You know Haribo. the Haribo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those are the little gummy bears. But you know what I kind of love? This is on their website in case you want to read it. Nationalzoo.org. Yeah. Fun dips on the naughty list. That's fine. And as a parent, really hate Fun Dip. Fun As a Dip kid, is... Carol, kid Carol loved Fun Dip. Right. Parent Carol does not love Fun Dip. Fun Dip is nothing she more than what happens sugar. When they do... It's just no, sugar. No, it's beyond that. It's just... As soon as my... Oh. <sighs> like, you're concerned with the cleanup. Oh, I'm concerned that it's just Listen. like a colored sugar Listen. that you're... Li and you always eat the stick and then it just becomes a finger. Uh, <laughs> Ugh. So gross. All of it's so gross. Okay, they're, speaking of gross, an ice cream shop this in Oregon, Halloween ice cream flavors to a whole disgusting, weird level. Yeah, everybody on the crew said hard pass. Hard pass. I mean, we're not going to have any of this. Nope. So here you go. You are staring at ice cream from salt and straw, and the flavor is pig's blood. Dracula's blood pudding made with fresh pig's blood. Sugar, chocolate, and cinnamon because they say it's a delicacy somewhere else. Okay, great. Somewhere else. <laughs> mm -mm. Okay. okay, another it one. It does look pretty. Creepy crawly critters. Matcha ice cream. I'm in for matcha. Pass. Topped with zesty orange. Again, good. Dark chocolate covered crickets. Not offended. And coconut toffee brittle mealworm. Hard pass. Ew. Ew, ew. Good source of protein, but that, no. That picture's good on Pinterest. There no. you go. And then essence of a ghost. Gray sherbet with black chocolate, ice cream, and a smoky flavor. Yeah, all like, in. All who in. was the voice of reason with that one? Like, the, everybody else went real weird. The and guy, then someone's like, how about we just make, you know, like this. There was a guy in it. the room that they were like, what do you think of mealworms? And he's like, no. And no one would listen to him. And then finally at the end, he's like, all right, look, I get one flavor, and it's going to be <laughs> the ghost. This is what we're doing. He was the voice of reason. Thank goodness for him. Or she. I know. It could have been she. Yes. You're right. You're right. In these sensitive times, Kel. <laughs> they, they made a good decision. <laughs>